Hello guys, and today I'm going to cook something called chicken tikka masala entirely by cheating. I say cheating because I'm going to use um, a tikka masala cooking sauce jar. Now this is generally cheating um, in my opinion. You can buy the ingredients separately and cook it separately, but I thought for once, um, and I got this a while ago, I just haven't I've waited long enough to actually get the um, get the chicken for this and so this is a mild one says it's mild and it's chicken t it's a tikka masala sauce now chicken tikka masala was actually at one point officially the most popular dish in Britain okay believe it or not not fish and chips not um, you know Sunday roast but chicken tikka masala okay and apparently it's some sort of British Indian curry of some sort, right? Anyway, right? In order to do this, I also have some rice. Now, during COVID, I actually got some more expensive rice just because that was the only rice I could actually get hold of at the time. And later, I managed to get hold of some cheaper rice. So I've generally saved this rice for what I call exotic occasions. Even though it's actually out of date, it's actually dated November 2021, but I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. So um, it's nearly two, it's um, nearly two years out of date. It's actually, if you want to be very pedantic, it's almost um, one year and 11 months out of date, but never mind. This is, I've saved this normally for what I call special occasions, okay? Because it's more expensive rice, okay? And as well as that, I also have some diced chicken breasts. They chopped it up for you, okay, for the lazy. But what's really interesting, and this is brand new, you do not have only seen this recently. And I don't mean recent like in the last year or so. I mean like, you know, or a year or two ago. I mean very, very, very recent. This is ultra recent. Not for EU. That's right, this packaging actually states not for EU. That means this food is so good, we don't want any foreigners having their hands on it because it's just too good for them, right? Well, no, it's not quite true. Um, people outside the EU can have this, I suppose, but not anyone in the EU. Anyone in the EU is banned from having this because it's so exotic, right? I'm not even joking. I think there might, in fairness, there might be a version of this for EU citizens, to be fair. But this is, it's to do with tax and things like that, to be honest, and other things, to be very honest. Right, so that if, for example, and it's also got GB there. So it's got um, a GB code, GB, in Great Britain. Because we're, you know, a really, really great country, being Great Britain and all that, right? Why well, it doesn't say UK, I've no idea, but anyway... Um, maybe, the, oh yeah, it might be something to do with Northern Ireland. I think it's something to do with Northern Ireland. That's why it says GB, because, um, Northern Ireland is basically GB plus, um, the UK is GB plus Northern Ireland, basically, and there's some complicated rules around Northern Ireland, um, because of the way we left, and because Northern Ireland shares a border with Ireland, and other strange stuff, which you don't need to worry about at the moment. But anyway, so... I've also got some red food colouring. Now, normally, I know this is exotic. This is like an expense given I don't have a lot of money, and this is an unnecessary expense. And you're right, it is. But proper, authentic chicken tikka masala is generally ha has the um, meat uh, made red. So I think it might be usually to do with B or something, but I'm not sure, I can't remember. No, no, maybe even with chicken even. But with, um, I'm going to redden it, right? So even though, um, I might have got muddled up with beef masala, to be honest, but I'm going to redden it anyway, right? Uh, maybe I should have yellowed it instead, I can't remember. Oops, maybe I got the wrong colour. I know, but I know that often, you know, tikka masala is associated with redness. So I'm going to redden 
a chicken anyway. Maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Maybe I should have redden the beef and yellow the chicken. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to redden it anyway. Uh, I hadn't thought about this properly. But it will do. Right, whenever I've seen tikka masala or things like that, it's going to be reddish. And I've had this sort of reddishness to it. But having thought about this, this might have been when I did um, beef masala. But never mind. I'm going to redden it anyway. Rightly or wrongly, I've made a decision. I'm going to redden it. Okay, because... Things like um, tikka masala is associated with red. So what I'm going to do, okay, is first of all, I'm going to, um, just a minute, I'm going to open up this um, Going to empty the contents of that into this container, and there's a reason for that, and that's because I want to sort of marinate it. I say sort of marinate it because what I want to do is I made a decision I'm going to redden it. Um, I hope it's the right colour. I know that I think with beef it was done this way, but. Hopefully it's the same with chicken. So now I'm going to open this food colouring up. And now. I've never used colouring. I don't think I've ever used um, food colouring before to be honest. I've just seen it's an unnecessary expense. But I'm going to try anyway. So now. I'm going to pour this. Right into here. I've not no idea how much it's supposed to use. And it looks very dark. So, I'm going to put the lid on, otherwise it'll go everywhere, and I hope it won't go absolutely goddamned anywhere, so, now, it's probably, I mean, I could have probably got the same effect with beetroot, but now, I'm going to show you, I don't know how, it's not easy to show, and I didn't, right, but you can see now, so if I get some out, it's starting to redden, so, this is starting to look more authentic, like um, the sort of thing you would expect in perhaps a curry. I think I know, sort of like beef or something, they would do this. I'm doing this to try and make it look more authentic. And I'm going to sort of leave that to marinate for perhaps an hour or two. I'm just stirring it so you'll see it's now gone very very red this is to try to make it look as authentic as possible or then maybe I should have done yellow I, I know I have seen a lot of red associated with masala and tikka masala And so, then it's just a matter of basically frying it, adding some oil, frying it. I'm going to also add some oil here, even though I probably shouldn't. I'm just going to mix some oil in with it. I will do proper oiling later, but I'm just going to add some extra in here. I'm sure this is massively out of date, but um, you know, to be totally honest with you, but oil is all in my opinion. Um, what can, what can go wrong with it really? Um, you know. I'm just going to mix some, and this is just um, sunflower oil. This is just normal sun. This is just normal sunflower oil, the sort of thing that you use all the time for cooking. And I'm just going again now. Pour it in. Just can stir it again. 
Is it just because I want it to marinate quite a lot for about an hour or two before I pour in the um, sauce afterwards? So. So now you can see it's getting quite red, it's quite red, the chicken now is quite red. I really hope I don't look online and find I should have used yellow, but never mind. I have seen red associated with tikka masala, so there you go. Right. Sometime if I like this I might try and do it the hard way with proper ingredients, you know, instead of using this cooking sauce jar, and by the way this is actually in date, it says May 2024, so if I really hate it, well it's nothing to do with that. Okay, I've never tried this sauce before so I'm, you know, I think I may have had tikka masala before at some point, but um, maybe professionally many years ago, I can't remember truthfully, but you know, like bought it or went to an Indian restaurant. I can't remember, but this was years and years ago when I went to Indian restaurants, you know. Uh, because there's a culture over here which many years ago people used to go to an Indian restaurant once every week or something like that. It's, it's very popular over here. Americans are into uh, Mexican food, um, British people are into Indian food, okay? So there you go, guys. Now, I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the lid on and I'm going to leave that for a while and then I'm basically going to fry it then add this um, deal with the rice as well when I find what I did with it, I have some rice in here I'll leave it there, that's the rice which I have later and Tilda is one of the better brands, okay? It's a better brand over here, okay? I do also have some cheap, um, you know, budget branded um, Tesco um, rice, which I usually use because I'm on a budget most of the time. I only bought that because I was desperate during um, COVID when you couldn't buy rice anywhere practically. And I didn't want to go into town on buses and stuff because of all the rules and God knows what. Anyway, there you go. So now that is... Um, the chicken with um, red dye, okay? Well, red dye, whatever you call it, red food colouring, so it's better word, red food colouring. Well, not dye, that's for, that's for um, clothing. Although I'm quite sure if you use this on clothing, you'd suddenly get red clothes, but that's the matter, okay? Right. Now, the so next stage will be me um, frying this, okay, once this is marinated for about an hour or two. I don't think there's a need to do it, but I'm just going to do it anyway, okay? Just um, for my own reasons, okay? So, I'll see you soon. Right, and before I um, use this um, tikka masala cooking sauce jar, um, I need to open it now. You make sure you cannot press it, that means it hasn't been opened. So it's okay. Now hopefully this will open in one go. Absolutely. That's what I was hoping would not happen. Absolutely. Right. Okay. This is what I feared. Typical. I, I bought this a while ago. And now it doesn't want to open. Oh, I've finally done it. I had to put my nail under the jar and now it's opened up and there's a popping noise which means now if I press this it will now prise open that means it's been opened okay and this is a special um, 
safety seal that I put on jars over here so that if you compress it it means it's been opened and there's something wrong with it unless of course you opened it yourself okay inside is the um, masala sauce Tikka's masala sauce so Of course, that will go onto the um, chicken. So I ha I think I've tasted better sauces to be honest I'm more of a korma person so I actually prefer um, I think I prefer korma to be honest but never mind I've never tried this before or normally tried it before which meant to be really really popular I must admit I'm slightly disappointed I think but, but to be fair I haven't cooked it yet so and this is just me having it totally cold okay which is not really fair so I will cook this later okay right but there you go I just wanted to open the jar first just in case there's a problem where I was actually trying to cook it okay because it's not a good idea if you can't open the jar when you're actually trying to cook okay right guys so the next bit probably hopefully this time will be the um, cooking okay I did do some checking by the way on the internet while I took a break and yes some um, tandoori chicken it they do have a just have a red color so um, you know I used red dye but some of them use um, paprika and chilies and other techniques to do it professionally but I use red dye which I know is sort of cheating but um it gives it the red look okay right right and now at the moment the um sort of spins, the cooker isn't on at the moment but um the saucepan is on the cooker but the cooker hop it's not really a cooker it's a hot plate but um I'm just going to put some rice in the bottom some people like to add turmeric and other things I'm just going to have it fairly plain I'm now going to add some boiling water to it right I'm now adding boiling water to it from a kettle okay this is the kettle I'm just going to shake the pan around I'm going to put a lid on now for my own reasons because I'm going to be swapping um, between the saucepan and the frying pan for now I'm just going to move the saucepan out of the way now and I'm now going to move the frying pan and What I'm now going to do, for those of you who've just seen the um, I'm Dreaming of a White Frying Pan um, video, I've cleaned the frying pan, okay, deliberately. I thought it would look better, slightly um, unwashed in the I'm Dreaming of a White Frying Pan video because it looked as if you know it was outside and you know there was some soil obviously it's not soil but you know 
it's just um, bits of things I used to put in. Because I do, truthfully, with I've been using other things to cook, and I've just used this as somewhere to put a spatula when um, you know I need to put a spatula down. Now you can see the um, marinated chicken pieces. These have not been cooked yet. This is totally raw. I'm going to pour this straight into the frying pan. The moment the cook isn't switched on, the hot plate isn't switched on. I'll call it a hot plate. I mean, I'm, you know, but because it's only a hot plate, it's not a full cooker, but you know, it's good enough. So there you go. That's before I add the. Um, Oh, it's just, it's, it's, oh, so I'm going to add some oil. I should have probably oiled the frying pan earlier, but uh, this is fairly non-stick, so it won't really matter too much if I just shake that around a bit. I'm sure if I do a lot of stirring, then... Um, Wait a minute, sorry, I accidentally knocked the camera. Right. And I'll move that back a bit so you can see a bit better. Now I've switched the, um, you can see the lights on. I'm going to use the spatula, so... I said I was supposed to oil it first, but it won't matter. Um, won't make much of a difference. <laughs> it takes quite a while for this, um, hot plate to heat up, but when it does heat up it becomes very hot. Um, I'm going to speed this up slightly by um, just pouring some Boiling water in. I'm sure you're not supposed to do that, but it won't matter. It will just speed up a bit. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of sauce added anyway, so. Okay, I'll wait for it to um, heat up a bit. Right, as you can see, it's now bubbling. Okay, so you can now see it's bubbling. So I'm going to do a lot of stirring now. I know this is boring, I know there's no skill in this, but it's just a matter of stirring it, essentially. And the problem is, because I've coloured it red, I haven't a clue um, whether it's fully done or not, because I can't easily look at the inside and say, oh yes, you know, that looks done, but...
also it looks as if, um, which I'm not an expert on this, well it's coloured the outside but not really the inside, so I don't know, I mean I did... I tried to get it to marinate as much as I could. It does give you an insight into, you know, the fact that the dye is most, well, I'll show you food colouring, it's mostly affects the outside rather than the inside. Maybe if I'd marinated it overnight and turned it over a lot, or anyway, um, <laughs> and difficulty with this is knowing how long to cook it for. Um, I said cook it for about five or six minutes, so about three minutes already. Um, the chicken spice sage frizz, the sauce and spice sage frizz, so I'm following their instructions with their diced chicken with the amount roughly what they said because they the chicken is 410 grams they said 400 but obviously i'm not going to worry about 10 grams and obviously over the years maybe they've decided to what am i talking about that's been like perhaps been the last few months or whenever they designed the packaging for the sauce or whatever they increased it by 10 grams who knows but I'm simply chopping this because it will then cook faster. Um, and I'm also, I admit it might not look quite so nice regarding the um, red look that I wanted, but you know, because you can see here, for example, on this one, where it's got the red outside, but when you look at the this part it's not red there so it also says you might put it in on As I said, I mean, the red food cooling is just mostly for um, cosmetic purposes. I should have probably chopped it more before I put the... Um, it's also hard to do this when it's raw, to be honest. And it's easier to do this when it's partially cooked or completely cooked, so... So now I'm going to do, 
So I'm going to turn the heat up and I'm going to swap over to the um, rice again because I'm sure the rice is probably getting cold now. So, um, and so I'm trying to do all of this on one hot plate. And this is where I'm going to do a bit of a uh, cheating, to be honest. I'm going to... Put some more of the red dye in. And then use that to... Colour the pieces which are not properly done. If I find one like that. <laughs> okay, that's actually about eight minutes, so. I should now be able to put in the cooking sauce now, so hopefully that should be done. How long do you put the cooking sauce in for? Um, it's a simmer for 10 minutes, so now I've got the Jar. So I'm just going to pour the whole and to pour the contents of the jar in. That's the complete jar. I'm sure I could scoop it all out, but it's too much effort at the moment. I'll worry about them a day because I'm not going to eat all of this today. So it will be split up, it will. My food dyes probably not helped, but there you go. So now, it's so probably made a bit better than it would normally be for the masala um, sauce. But there you go. I just have to wait for this to heat up, and then I'm going to swap over to the. Nice, I'm going to put on full. I'm just going to wait for it to start bubbling and then I'll... And it's starting to bubble now.
Mm, that's probably I'm just going to try a bit. <clears throat> it's all just definitely tastes much nicer and that's been warmed up. No. I'm to quickly spot the frying pan. And the saucepan. Starting to hear some crackly noises, so <laughs> and we can see it's starting to heat up, so I'm turning the heater down, so. As I said, I did pour boiling water in um, when I did this, so... And it has a there's a hole in the saucepan lid. I bring it to the front so you can see, so that the steam can come out. I think that's going to free well now. So now I'll swap it so that it's back to the. Um, The curry. Turn it back up again, so Swapping um, and when, you, when you're using just one hot plate, it's not the best thing I recommend, but it, it actually pretty much works. Swap it back to the rice again. I mean, this is pretty much how an electric hot plate works anyway. It's, it continually switches the heat on and off. Mm. 
whilst doing that, I'm going to um, get a plate. Right now, one technique I've learned to actually um, warm a plate up is literally to just lift up the lid, put a plate underneath. So there you go. That's now going to warm the plate. I do have a proper plate warmer actually, but I'm trying to do this quickly and the speed and I'll probably screw this up terribly but and it'll probably be a case of more haste less speed but Never mind. I'm now going to swap in again, so hopefully this will work. So I know this is very boring to watch, I'm fully aware of it. And this especially says this is all there is to it, but I'm just gonna put my finger in. I mean the chicken definitely isn't raw, so I'll say that, so... Um... I'm just gonna, off camera... I'm going to try some of the rice and see if the rice seems like it's ready. I'm gonna try this. Oh dear. Mice isn't ready, unfortunately. So, I'm going to swap it again. This time, I'm going to leave the top off so I can speed it up.
This is the problem with filming, you see. Um, it's extremely boring. And... Normally you shouldn't stir, you shouldn't stir rice, you should just leave it alone, but I'm trying to speed this up. So this is higher quality rice to, compared to cheap long grain rice which I'm used to having so it usually means it takes longer to cook as well and I'm trying to rush something that I shouldn't rush. If you're wondering why I'm doing this on the packet It says, oh, you can't see it, but it's got £3.99 and that was for a kilogram. One kg. I can get um, cheap long grain rice for about 40p for a kilogram. And that's what I sometimes use, but it's doesn't taste as nice but you get what you pay for you know <laughs> yet the rice is coming along nicely now much better as I said, you meant to just leave it alone, but I'm going to swap it now for the frying pan again. And now this is starting to bubble. So it should all be ready fairly soon, and if it's not, well, I'll worry about it another day. I'm probably going to regret this now, but while it's doing that, move this back a bit, and I'm going to um, yeah, I'm really going to regret this a lot. Drain the um, the rice. 
Right now, what I'm doing now is I've got the um, this. I've got. I know it's not perfect. It's a sieve. It's my way of doing it. Pour the rice. Into the sieve, and there's another um, saucepan underneath it, which is there yeah, to catch the water. Normally, I just put this, do this straight in the sink, but and I just toss the rice back in again. Right now, the rice is ready, so I'm going to. the rice um, I would normally do a better job of this truthfully but <coughs> said on camera I'm probably going to have to leave some of it which is a waste on camera it's very fluffy like rice but this is a bit expensive stuff I'm used to the cheap stuff to be honest So that is now ready. Now, I want to get the frying pan. I've got the frying pan, look. You can see that some of it out. Now I'm going to use it's very difficult trying to do this on camera. Put some of that out. Right, so there you go. That's going to be my dinner, and this is going to be. I'll probably put a few more on just in case, just to. Right, so there you go. Um, there must be a few more pieces, they're just buried in there. Yeah, they are there, they're just buried. So, there you go, that's the chicken tikka masala presentation. Now I'm going to eat it. Right, this is the chicken tikka masala. I'm now in my bedroom, and now I'm going to eat it, so... Right, it's warmed up, it is more juice than I thought it would be. Looks like he's got bits of onion almost. And this, um, as you can see, the Just taking you can see it on this particular camera. This is now it looks like with the chicken cooked up close, and you can see it's with the red pieces. If I look inside, you notice you compare bits of the whites of the chicken with the red of the outside tandoori colouring. Well, it's it's This is essentially what it's meant to look like. I 
Initially when I tried it cold I was disappointed, I thought this will taste horrible but it's much better than I thought. In this very very juicy as I said this was created to appeal to British tastes. Um, Apparently, chicken tikka masala was created by adding lots of tomatoes and other things that's well known British people like. I don't just mean like the red colour, I mean actually adding to more tomatoes to the actual, you know, curry sauce, the, you know, the masala curry sauce, which is what was in the jar. I can understand why this is popular now. Um, you either like curry or you don't. Um, if you do, this is a lot more tomato -y than perhaps many people would be used to if they're used to normal curries like kormas or others. It's also says it's mild and it is. I don't. My throat doesn't. I don't feel like the urge to get a cup of water or anything like that. Whereas in the past, when I went to Indian restaurants many years ago, as it was used to be a weekly thing for many people. I used to go after work and um, basically. I worked and lived on a military base as a civilian in the past um, every now and again we, we would go out with the military and have an engine meal once a week or something like that you know all paid for out of our own salaries you know I mean it wasn't like on expenses or anything of course but you know And as I said, some people might put turmeric in the rice, but I just wanted to see what it was like without. And definitely this is better rice. I can understand why people pay more for better rice, um, you know. But but my long grain keeps me alive. You know, there's a cheaper version of this. Um, it may not taste as good, but, you know. It probably should just as much. Um, there is some spiciness to it, so there's some slight warmth to it, but you do not feel like the urge to rush out and get a cup of water. But maybe I'll change my mind in about 10 minutes. Um, once again, here you can see where the distinction between the red and the red dye and the inside of the chicken. I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to marinate the chicken so that it has a red tandoori colour, but and they might use a different process, but and I said this was in some years I believe um officially Britain's favourite um, meal. Baiting fish and chips, baiting Sunday roast. This, and that's not because we're, we're absolutely full of Indians and there's no white people. Um, you know, lots of white British people like this kind of food now since the Indians come over. There are lots and lots of Indian restaurants here. There are lots of Indian takeaways. Where you can easily buy this kind of food. You know, done professionally, and you just re take it home and reheat it in an oven. Um,
this isn't obviously all of the it, there's still some of this left and that will be I will wash the container with boiling water and then I'll put the um, rest in that in the container and I'll put it in the fridge and I'll have this as my meal my main meal for the next few days okay Do I think it's good? Yes. Is it my favourite? I'm not sure because, to be honest, I've had um, chicken meals with like Italian chicken style, um, may even be Italian, I don't know, um, recipe meals featuring chicken and, um, you know, and cream. And I think I may prefer that truthfully, but. But if you like curry, this is quite good, honestly. I mean, I can't compare it with, I don't know what it's like compared to like a professionally done version in a restaurant, which is fresh, using fresh ingredients, rather than things that have been in a jar for probably a few months. But anyway. I'm not taking using a jar and sometimes I'm not sure if I can do it using raw ingredients, you know. I'm done the hard way. But anyway. There we go guys, it's practically finished. Um and probably just a few little pieces but you know There you go. So there you go guys. Chicken tikka masala. Thanks for watching. Bye.